there's a public perception that that was part of a apology tour. There was advertisers leaving. We talked to Bob Iger today. I hope today. they stop. You don't want them to advertise? No. If somebody's gonna try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go fuck yourself. <laughs> go fuck yourself. Hey, Bob. Holy shit. That was freaking awesome. But what's going on? Why is the establishment attacking Elon? What do they oddly all have in common with these advertisers? And better yet, what are they hiding so fiercely? We get a lot to cover. Let's get it. Party, party, that boy. Yeah, Come and have a good time with G-O yeah. Elon blasts advertisers threatening to blackmail him by pulling ads, says go fuck yourself. The Thought Police accused Musk of supporting anti-Semitism with a poorly worded tweet that he posted several days ago. He later clarified when he expanded upon his remark, he was subsequently defended by multiple high-profile Jewish figures who said that they did not believe he was anti-Semitic. He also just visited Israel like last week. Now, I love the GFY, but there was one statement from Elon that I think was actually a little more powerful. And what I see all over the place is people who care about looking good while doing evil. Fuck them. That's good stuff, but it kind of reminded me of this old saying that those who yell the loudest or scream the loudest typically have more to hide. And PBD nails it here. You can't bully Elon. I feel like we're living out Ayn Rand Atlas Shrugged right now. This is insane. And if that's the case, Bitcoin is reared in metal. You can't bully the ungovernable. And that list is growing by the day. Now we know old Elon huddles the corn. He's a Bitcoin advocate. But as we start to come to this kind of crescendo of the people versus the state, we're seeing the bold, the brave, the Bitcoiners, the liberty lovers, all speaking their truth and winning. And that's fucking powerful. And one of our big sponsors called and said, take that down. You know what I said? Oh, fuck yourself. Yeah. Well, fuck you. Yeah. And if your recourse is, you're a bad person for not believing me, fuck you. That's my response. Fuck you. Blackmailing with money? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Is that clear? I, I hope it is. But now to the essential question, what are they hiding and what did Elon do to rattle the hornet's nest? And, and now one better. Why so perturbed, rattled, and scared of open free dialogue? I'm taking some reasons. A couple of the big ones, Disney, Colbert, they're all in the media industry. All been exposed by the Twitter files. What agenda do these guys all support? What don't they want public and what can't they compete with? Well, that's truth. And the defense against defamation, libel, slander, and those things is truth. Something to think about. So all they're left with is to try to manipulate and steer public opinion away from the public's own best interests and information. Man, that kind of sounds familiar. Shout out to Rusty right here. Keep murdering those swimming pools. At the end of the day, when it comes to these people, remember you have Bitcoin. And like Michael Saylor and Elon said, you could tell everybody go fuck themselves. Now, all of this that's happening also got me to think about, I was introduced to the idea of blowback back in 2008 with Ron Paul. Now, while Ron Paul was referencing foreign policy, you can basically apply that principle anywhere. It's kind of like the broken window fallacy in a sense, triggered by emotion or urgency. One doesn't see the full aftermath of their consequences, actions, or intervention. Convention. Kind of like protectionism in trade. But this is on the information war battlegrounds. This is in the era of Bitcoin. So to all you statists attacking Elon and Bitcoin, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. Because at the end of the day, the establishment walls have crumbled. There is no faith, belief, or trust in your institutions from the majority of the public. There's no putting the genie back in the bottle. I was thinking of this powerful Gandhi statement. So this is what Gandhi said on truth. The word satya, sat, derived from sat, means being. Nothing is or exists in reality except truth. That is why sat or truth is perhaps the most important name of God. In fact, it is more correct to say that truth is God than to say God is truth. On deeper thinking, however, it will be realized that sat or satya is the only correct and fully sign fact name for God. Now, I am no theologian, but it is kind of crazy to think verifiable, undeniable truth is divine or it almost has some sort of divine protection. Go ahead and make of that what you will. The status, the establishment, these people, nothing they do is truly out of the kindness of their heart to benefit the public. What they want is a monopoly on truth, not to protect you. What they want is to be able to peddle their propaganda and misinformation unchecked and without competition. And it's all public 
record now with the Twitter files. So go. I mean, the, the, the degree to which uh, old Twitter was basically a sock puppet of the government was ridiculous. Um, so, you know, it, it seems to me that there's, there, there's a, a very severe violation of the First Amendment um, in terms of how much a government control, uh, how, how much control the government had over old Twitter, um, and uh, it no longer does. So, you know, there's a reason for the First Amendment. Um, the reason for the First Amendment for freedom of speech is because the, the, the people that immigrated to this country uh, came from places where there was not freedom of speech. And, and they were like, you know what, we've we, we, we got to make sure that that's constitutional. Um, because where they came from, if they said something, they'd be put in prison. Or there'd be, you know, something bad would happen to them. So, uh, and freedom of speech, you have to say, when is it relevant? It's only relevant when when someone you don't like can say something you don't like, or it, ha it has no meaning. Um, and, and, and as soon as you sort of, you know, throw in the towel and concede to censorship, it is only a matter of time before someone censors you. And that is why we have the First Amendment. An idea whose time has come cannot be stopped by any nation, by any army. The truth will out. And if we know the history of governments, you know, stealing from the populace, you want to make sure that you're protecting your generational wealth. And we got just the guys to get you covered wherever you are in your Bitcoin journey. As Simply Bitcoin Originals are powered by the Bitcoin way. And if you want to take self-custody, get your Bitcoin off those exchanges. Well, as your dedicated Bitcoin IT team, the Bitcoin way is here to guide you from start to finish on your journey to properly self-custody your Bitcoin. What's more, they've recently introduced 100% privacy-focused collaborative custody services where you'll benefit from advanced multi-sig security, inheritance planning, and much more while remaining 100% in control. Looking to get started or take your Bitcoin setup to the next level? Book a free 30-minute call using that link below. Guys, get fired up. The truth is winning. The brave, the bold, and the based will be the ones who inherit the earth. Hey, be sure to like, subscribe, share that sound money gospel. Follow us on Twitter. We're getting all the latest breaking news out. Set those notifications and we will be your guide through the peaceful Bitcoin revolution. Don't miss Simply Bitcoin live at 1215 Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. We got a lot more stuff coming your way this weekend, so stay tuned. I'll catch you all next time. Peace. If you prefer to go down with the ship, fuck you. Thank <laughs> you.